What's going on guys? It's Jamie, aka The Flood Economist, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how much money uh, professional, real life professional soccer players or football players, whatever you want to call it, spend on FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have seen these cards in the game before or if you've been lucky enough or unlucky enough to come up against one of these cards, but the card you're looking at right now for Aubameyang is his pro card. So this pro card is a special cyan colored card that EA only gives to uh, professional players uh, to use on their personal Ultimate Team accounts i've got crazy boosted stats on him you can see uh bobby has got some pretty crazy stats on him already uh but the boosted stats for this card are absolutely ridiculous so uh these are sort of like the identifying cards if you come up with a, if you come up against a team that has one of these cards in them then you know that you are playing a professional player's uh team so anyway i've gotten a list here i've gone to, uh, scoured the internet found 17 teams um that have uh these pro cards in them and i've calculated for you guys how many uh, 100k packs it would take to uh, it would take to open to get those like to get the coins necessary to buy the teams that they have and then we've from there backed into the amount of coins or dollars rather that you would have to spend on ultimate team to open up that many packs um, basically the assumptions that I've made are that a 100k pack is going to cost you about 600 or sorry <laughs> $16.70 just on average if you buy FIFA points in bulk and on average you're going to be getting 19,200 coins back from selling all the players that you get from a ultimate uh, pack 100k pack uh, and all that stuff is in the pack value spreadsheet actually i forgot to link that in the last video i'll make sure i'll do that anyway let's get right into the team so we've done it in order from least expensive to most expensive so starting with our um starting with our least expensive it is armad uh, i'm going to struggle with some of the names of this video Ar armand gnandulet um, a bit of an interesting team he's got here. Obviously, he's pro player up top, 99 rated, so he's good. it's a fine team in and itself, but uh, did not spend a whole lot of money on the game. He's, this team is only worth about 135,000 coins. Uh, really, only would have taken about 700k packs to get to this level, and which is only going to be about $111, so not, not that bad. Uh, some interesting inclusions in here. What with the Scream Kalu card? Uh, I, I suppose maybe because it linked with him. I don't, I don't really know what he was going for there. Uh, but I mean, to be fair to him, you know, Anaki Williams, pretty decent in this game. Nacho Fernandez, uh, he's fast, uh, which is nice, but interesting center mid pairing has got going there with Parejo and Fabregas. Anyway, moving on to the next one, we got uh, Trent Bagyar. Uh, once again, I apologize for the, my pronunciations of some of these names. Uh, plays for Sydney SC. Um, the value of this team is just about 600k. I think the bulk of that's coming from the uh, Footmas Valencia and the Van Anholt. Uh, but he's got some pretty decent players in here. Sane, Salah, Fabinho. I mean, it's pretty meta. Uh, interesting on the Dini, the Scream Dini. I don't know what it is with the uh, professional players and using the Scream cards, but uh, it's going to take you about 3,100k th packs to get to this level, which is going to run you about $521. So still just chump change. You guys are going to be absolutely shocked <laughs> at how much money some of the guys that are making some crazy crazy teams at the top too. So I think our next one's a bit of a big jump here. Yeah, here we go. So our next one is uh, for uh, Gaia, uh, the left back for Valencia. Um, his team is worth four million, five million four hundred thousand coins. You can see we got Pele in there, we got Suarez, uh, De Bruyne, player them with Hazard, Herrero, Ramos, uh, that flashback Juan Fran, which I think is kind of cool. The fact that like someone like Gaia has like the time and, and like I guess this is the time to go out and like complete an SPC like one front. I would have thought that, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much like time, free time that they get, but I think it's just kind of cool that they're out there completing SPCs. Anyway, that's going to cost you uh, about 281 100k packs, which is $4,696. Uh, but you guys trust me, that, that may seem like a lot, but you guys haven't seen anything yet. Um, our next one, it belongs to Aubameyang. Aubameyang obviously plays for Arsenal. Um, he, and, and this is another thing, for the players that I was able to find wages for, um, I, I just wanted to give you guys sort of like a perspective on how much these guys are making a week. So even though they are spending a lot of money on these teams, it really is just not even dent in their budget. So Aubameyang is making on his current contract 198,000 pounds per week, per week. Um, so the fact that he's spending $5,610 on this team right here is literally nothing to him. I, some interesting inclusions in this one, I just want to point out the fact that he's had enough money for Prime Pele, but he's also running a team with Lingard and Zaha um, in his CM, in his, in, his, in his center attacking mid and his CDM. So might need to you know send him a DM or something like that, and, well, it, yeah, send him a DM as if he would... Uh, open the DM, but so, you know, maybe add him on Twitter and be like, yo, homie, like, what's going on with like <laughs> Lingard at the CDM? It's, you know, it's going to be tough in terms of uh, defensive covering. Anyway, uh, moving on to the next one, we have Tony Lato here. 
plays for Valencia as well. Uh, also, I think he plays left back for Valencia. Um, don't know how much he makes on, on a weekly wage, but his foot team is actually pretty solid. Um, the thing that kind of confused me about him is he's got enough money to afford uh, Hullet, Prime Hullet, and Prime Maldini, and yet he's running with uh, Williams oh, and Messi as well. He's running with Williams, Guedes, Daniel Vaz, and Nacho, and Nacho Fernandez. Very, very strange mix of players there. Um, but Hullet uh, and, and Maldini, I'm sure, hold it down for him just fine. Um, and and uh, the cost of his team is going to be just about $6,479. So another very expensive team. Um, our next one on the list is Paulo Dybala. He's got a very, very good team with the likes of Wanna Watch Ronaldo, uh, the 91 Ronaldinho, Messi, Pogba, Zanetti, uh, Ramos, Maldini. Very, very good team. 9000 $306 for him, but again, that is nothing compared to his uh, 105,000 uh, uh, pound wage, uh, weekly wage, that is. Uh, so literally not even 10% of his weekly wages. Um, then we have another one. Uh, this is belongs to Ainsley Maitland Niles. Um, this is a, it's actually a squad building team. This was like one of the featured squad battles teams. Uh, again, plays for Arsenal, 30,000 pounds a week. Uh, the value of this team is 11 million, 150,000. So very, very expensive, 581, 100K packs, and we're almost creeping up towards that $10,000 mark, $9,698.18, very, very expensive. You can see he's got uh, quite a few, I mean, it would be, it'd be much more expensive of a team if he was rocking with some uh, other more meta players, but it looks like, at least for the squad battle, that he wanted to run with some Arsenal players uh, in, in sort of homage of his uh, current team. Uh, the next one we have on the list is Matthias Oliveira. Uh, plays for Victoria SC, um, and similar to the last one, his value of his foot team is 11 million five hundred thousand five hundred ninety nine hundred k packs and ten thousand two dollars. So we're just creeping up over that 10k mark. It's a lot of money, man. Um, got a very good team. I mean, not messing around with anything, and actually very, very meta if we're looking at. I mean, this is the kind of guy that's running Ronaldo at CM. I mean, that's like the kind of shit that you only see. Uh, at the like super high end of like the, the, the super sweaty weekly team. So guy knows what he's doing. I mean, he's got Ramos, Ferran, Lala, probably the most meta team that we've seen for the budget that he's got. Uh, so hats off to uh, Matthias here for putting together a pretty solid team. I'm sure that striker card that he's got uh, does just fine. By the way, he's got a sweet dynamic picture, or not dynamic picture, but like just profile picture. Makes it look, uh, 99 card look pretty badass. Then we have another one here from David Pullett, um, as we're creeping up towards some of the higher, sp the bigger spenders here. Um, his, uh, he, he plays for UPenn, um, he's got an 11, so a very similar uh, valuation of 11 million 550,000, um, 600, 200k packs, and then again, just over 10,000 coins. Uh, and then once again, a very, very meta team here. Um, he's playing player, or he's got Hazard, Neymar, Ronaldo, Hullet. I mean, he's got a lot of people running with Hullet. Let's get a very, very good team. And then the next one here is Donny Van Beek, uh, plays for Ajax. Uh, 13 million, 500,000 in terms of valuation, 700, 300k packs, and 11,400 and uh, 7,000, 11,742 dollars uh, in total spend. Interesting thing about this one, he's got uh, Red Conte, which means this guy plays Weekend League, uh, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the fact that he's able to find time to play Weekend League, uh, play all 30 games. Well, actually, I don't know how many, he could just gotten like silver, no, he to, so he could have got, gotten silver one and just got like a Conte, but uh, I think it's pretty impressive that he managed to get this. So probably at least at, at a minimum, he's a decent player, which is pretty cool to see. Um, our next one belongs to Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, this is a heck of a team. Uh, he's got the wages to support it. Oh, I made a mistake on the wages. That's 11. That should be, uh, there should be one more zero to bring him out to 11, uh, 115,000. Uh, obviously, he's got a very, very expensive team here. 740, 700K packs to get to this, with which is the equivalent of $12,472. Uh, our next one here, oh, I'm covering, I think that's Ronaldinho. I think that's Prime Ronaldinho. I apologize for covering up that picture there, but uh, Bird Leno, uh, the Arsenal keeper, um, he's got a heck of a team here as well. Uh, very, very meta. Um, I'm surprised that with all the money he's got, he's not running a better version of Van Dyke. Maybe this was, maybe he had this team before Van Dyke. Uh, some of the later versions of Van Dyke came out, but you can see he's spending $13,742. I think I did the breakdown of it. This, uh, in terms of a percentage of your weekly wage spent, uh, Leno is, I think, is spending the highest. I think he's somewhere just under uh, 20%, or sorry, just over 20% of his weekly wages are going to this, so that's pretty expensive. Um, and then we have uh, Andrus Townsend. Uh, who played for Crystal Palace. He's spending a whopping $14,873 on his team. Uh, 
everybody is pretty much as good as it's going to get uh, in this team. <laughs> pretty pretty crazy. Uh, interesting, he's running with a 5 2 2 1 formation, not a one that you see a lot. Uh, but I'm sure the players more than uh, cover the uh, cover cover ground for him, so I'm sure he's doing just fine in terms of player selection. Interesting, they just have a better version of Conte in there. Um, and then we also have Remignoli. We're creeping up towards the end here. Remignoli, uh, and then we'll you'll start to see that these like jump up in sort of like leaps and bounds. But Remignoli has a pretty solid team here um, with with uh, Road to the Final Aurier, uh, Ferdinand Danovic. He's got himself back there. Alexandro. He's got Vieira. I mean, this is. About as good as it's gonna get, and this is actually the the I saw this picture on Twitter. This is the uh, the photo on Twitter that inspired me to do this video. He's you can see he's spending about sixteen thousand one hundred and thirty four dollars, uh, which is almost one thousand hundred K packs worth of coins, which is absolutely insanity. Uh, and then we have Maxi Lopez. I think this is I think either our second or third highest. Um, biggest spender here. Uh, he's got a full team of icons except for Mbappe himself, and then uh, Danovic, I believe. I, yeah, I think that's in Danovic. Um, $18,474 worth of 100k packs, well over 1,000 100k packs, 1,106. Absolutely ridiculous. A 21 million coin team. Unbelievable. Then we have Jordan Pickford. This one is, I think, I think this is our second highest. Jordan Pickford uh, of Everton, the keeper for them. Uh, he's got a 24 million coin team, 1,300 100k packs, and $21,670,000 worth of. Oh my goodness, that, I mean, that's a crazy team, dude. The fact, I mean, I, I'm sure that this picture was a little bit old. I'm sure by now he's got, you know, Team of the Year of Iran, Team of the Year Ramos, and probably Team of the Year Marcelo as well. What a team he's got there. And then our big spender, David Myler. Unbelievable. By a mile, the most expensive team we've seen. Um, plays for Reading, uh, obviously the captain of the Republic of Ireland. Very good player and pretty big into the FIFA scene. Um, and uh, he's spent a total of... It's three thirty-seven thousand four hundred and one at a minimum. I don't know if he's got more coins in his club or what, uh, but I know he does play the game quite a bit. This would run you about two thousand two hundred and forty hundred K packs, which is absolutely outrageous. I think this is probably the best team you could possibly make in the game right now. Maybe if you wanted to add in uh, some of the players, I, mean, I think maybe you could if you could work in Trent Alexander Arnold, uh, maybe with like Van Dyke. Uh, for Varane or something like that. I don't even know. I think this is probably about the best team you could possibly make. Um, Anyway, boys, what do you think about that? Do you think uh, these guys are spending too much money on the game? I think they are uh, well-suited and, and being paid uh, quite handsomely, so they don't need to worry about how much money they're spending on the game. But uh, some of these teams are, are pretty insane. I think there are more of these. If you guys have played against uh, a pro player uh, with, with any, and you have a picture of it uh, or their team, please send it to me. I think this was kind of fun. We could do another, another follow-up video of this in the future. Uh, but if you guys did like this kind of content, it is a little bit different for me in terms of like what I'm normally going to be doing on this channel, I think. Uh, uh, but if you liked it, I would appreciate a like rating. If not, a dislike rating is absolutely fine. Um, but other than that, it's been Jamie, aka the Fud Economist, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Would you already just said Sia? What the hell does that mean? Anyway, bye. <laughs>